Optifine. This video is going to show you how to get Optifine features without getting Optifine because Optifine hasn't updated since Minecraft 1.20.1 and while it is now in development it was not in development for a very long time there and who knows when we're going to get the newest version Minecraft 1.20.4 updated and that's why we created this notifying it's an optifine alternative mod pack with the goal on updating faster than optifine allowing you to enjoy minecraft's newest version with the best performance and graphic settings our goal is to achieve optifine parity meaning all the features that optifine has and sometimes a few things will be missing but generally all of the meat and bones, shaders, better performance, all of that is achieved with this mod pack, Notifine. So let's go ahead and learn how to install this Optifine alternative mod pack. First things first, we're going to need to download CurseForge. So go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. CurseForge is the mod loader that allows you to install Notifine, which is actually a collection of a few different mods to get Optifine features in Minecraft 1.20.4. So once you're here, go ahead and click download CurseForge, and that will take you to the official Curse CurseForge download page. Once you're here, go ahead and click on this download standalone button and CurseForge, the installer will begin downloading. While it's doing that, have notes from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Start your very own Minecraft server where you can easily add mods, mod packs, plugins, and customize the server however you want. Plus, if you've got any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So stop struggling to host your server and host it the simple way at Simple Game Hosting, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. And one quick note about Notifying on Minecraft servers, you don't have to do anything server side. If you can join a server with Minecraft Vanilla, you can join it with the Notifying mod pack. So that includes things like Hypixel, but it also includes vanilla and plugin based servers that host like simple game hosting. Any Minecraft server that can accept a vanilla connection will accept a Notifying connection. Nevertheless, the mod pack installer from CurseForge, the CurseForge installer, is now downloaded here. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is move this installer to our desktop. For me, that's going to be found in my downloads folder. So if we come here to the downloads folder, we can see there it is, Windows installer for CurseForge. Drag and drop this to our desktop. Now from here, this installs just like any other program. Just double click on the CurseForge installer and it will open up a installer and then click through it. Like I said, it's like any other program. Click next, go ahead and accept the terms of service, assuming you do, which we do. Click next again, and now it's gonna go ahead and install CurseForge on your computer. So it's really cool. Like I said, it's just like any other program, quick and easy to install using this simple installer. Once it's finished, it will open up. And when it first opens up CurseForge, you'll actually need to prepare it for Minecraft. As you can see, it says Minecraft not installed here. So you wanna go ahead and click on that and then click standard and then click continue. It's gonna get things ready and then boom, we can now install mod packs, specifically the Notifying Optifine Alternative Mod Pack. How do we do that? Well, up here at the top where it says search for Minecraft projects, just type in Notifine. So N-O-T-I-F-I-N and hit enter. And there it is, the Notifying Mod Pack by The Breakdown. Go ahead and click install and it will now install this. It should be pretty fast because it's not a super heavy mod pack, but it does have a few different mods. It has things like shaders. It has all sorts of different stuff that's worth checking out and to improve Minecraft's performance. So let's go ahead and let this install. And then once it's finished installing, you'll have a play button here. You can click this, but you can also click on Minecraft on the left-hand side. And this is normally how you'll play the mod pack by clicking Minecraft on the left-hand side, hovering over Notifying and clicking play. Now, when you click play, it's gonna download some stuff for the Minecraft launcher. and then you're you're actually going to need to log into the Minecraft launcher. This is 100% safe to do though because this is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally play Minecraft through. You're just launching it with your mods through CurseForge. So I'm going to go ahead and log in really fast. So here we are logged into CurseForge. And what's really, really cool about CurseForge is by default, it works. Once you log in, you can see we have Notifying selected here. We can click play, click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with the Notifying Optifine Alternative Mod Pack installed. I'll show you what that looks like in game, but at this point you can just play Minecraft. One thing I do want to mention though is if you wanted to import your old worlds or anything like that into the mod pack, it's super easy to do that. All you have to do is go access the Minecraft folder, which can be done from the Minecraft launcher by going to installations up here at the top, hovering over whatever installation you're playing. This may be a vanilla installation or a previous Optifine installation and clicking the folder here. Here you'll have this saves folder. This is where all of your Minecraft worlds are located. Go ahead and right click on that and copy it, right like so. 
Then to install it into Notify, what you'll do is actually come to CurseForge here, right click and then click open folder. Then you want to just right click and paste any of those saves into this Notify folder and all of your worlds when you launch up Minecraft will be in the Notify installation. Nonetheless, I'm going to let this finish downloading and I'll meet you on the main menu to show some of Notify's features. So here we are on the main menu and if we go ahead and go to options and then video settings, we'll see that pretty much everything is different here. And this is where the magic happens, if you will, with the Notify mod pack. Now by default, if we go to shader packs here, we have a few different shader packs installed now one of the big things that you want to do if you want to get maximum performance out of this mod pack is come in here to shaders and then click disabled and then click apply at the bottom that's going to turn off any shaders packs that are installed and allow you to really boost your minecraft performance and, and literally get hundreds and hundreds of more fps than you can with it enabled with that being said i want shaders installed and working on this because i just play with shaders and what's crazy on my system i can actually get 300 400 fps with with shaders installed depending on the shader pack typically makeup ultra fast for example will give me a few more fps than complimentary you can also go into shader pack settings here and tweak this even more for example if you wanted to change this down to low or something you could do that some other things that are worth noting here is you can change your render distance, max of shadow distance, and simulation distance. Turning down simulation distance can actually really boost FPS if you want. And then we also want to look on the left-hand side because we have things like quality settings where you can change your settings to fast instead of fancy if you want to boost your FPS and come in here and think, change things like particles to minimal. You can also get more particle control here by turning them all off or by turning off specific particles. Let's say you have a lot of campfires around your, you know, base or something and you want to turn those off well you can do that by coming in here to particles now with that being said the most bang for your buck is actually the performance tab you want to make sure that all of these are turned on and it can be helpful to turn chunk threads up a little bit as well but sometimes that can actually negatively impact fps but boost the overall performance of the game by making it more stable Last but not least, I do want to mention there is a lot of other stuff that you can look through over here with culling and animations and different details and rendering and all of that, as well as different stuff over here, including turning on FPS, which we want to make sure that we do. So there you go. That's a quick overview of that. I do want to make sure that we have our FPS turned all the way up and VSync turned off and then click apply there. And I just want to show you what is possible and what this looks like in game and to do that we will join a simple game hosting server and as i mentioned earlier the coolest part about joining a server with the notify mod pack this is just a vanilla server there's, there's nothing else going on just vanilla and when we join in it just works you don't have to do anything on the server to join a server you can join hypixel with the notify mod pack without any problems whatsoever and look at how beautiful this is i'm going to go ahead and set it to daytime but at nighttime it looks pretty good and this is what complementary shaders can do as well as all of the other optimizations we've made with the mods in the Notify mod pack. We're getting nearly 300 FPS when I send still over 300 FPS using a shader pack. How amazing is that? Now, I do have pretty good hardware, but even on lower end hardware, I've seen that this be possible to run shaders with 30 to 60 FPS, which is really all you need and not have any issues whatsoever. So that's a quick look at how to get the Optifine alternative mod pack. Truthfully, with how slow Optifine is updating, I'm so glad that we can provide this to the community and provide a way to use shaders and get better performance and actually play the game with shaders without Optifine. So this is all made possible by Iris shaders, Sodium, and so many other amazing mods. We've even had things like, as you can see here, the side of the grass is actually, you know, continuing over with better grass there to actually, you know, look more complete. So truly amazing what is possible with all these mods coming together to create an Optifine alternative. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, check out the mod pack, let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.